We just got through with the second street course race in Chicago. Unfortunately, both of them dampened by Mother Nature. Before we get into talking about timed events and the aspect of that, Brad, I'll start with you. If we could get this race to come off on a weekend where it's not interrupted by thunderstorms and awful weather, where does this Chicago street course rank in your mind overall in all of NASCAR Cup racing? Uh, I, I think it's one of the top five for me, potential-wise, as far as entertainment value. And, you know, Saturday's race I thought was wildly entertaining, and I was really looking forward to see how Sunday was going to shake out. A lot of the crew chiefs and teams were talking about, hey, 75 laps, we could run this race on one stop. Was that strategy going to be able to play out? If so, would it have been the winning strategy? And truthfully, with the potential for cautions, were we only going to have one stop in that race? So I was more curious to see what was going to happen happen on a completely dry racetrack i think we got to see that on saturday would love to be able to see that on sunday but i i do feel that this is something that could be a top five most anticipated race on the schedule i i don't disagree i mean i said it earlier when we were talking about alex bowman's win and how i thought that it was a, a big win i mean obviously for him personally with his 80 race winless streak but also because it's a big race to win um only the second time we've done it and unfortunately both times have been hampered by rain look you can't do anything about the weather mother nature is going to do what mother nature is going to do but i think as far as um you know things that were learned from the first year to the second year i know we're going to talk a little bit about that going forward but 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 the timing clock um, you know, just how quickly they were able to take the course down from yesterday to today to get uh, traffic back flowing in Chicago, the way they were able to work with the city, all the things I think they gained from the first year to the second year. And we will continue to do that as long as we can continue to race in that market. But I think it's important for us to be places where people don't expect us to be because that's how you gain new fans. I, I was watching the Xfinity race Saturday when the weather was perfect. Yeah. And you get these pictures of the vista and the skyline of Chicago, and you see them racing down Michigan Avenue, and everything about that had a had a cool factor, almost beyond anything NASCAR had ever done. Yeah, I mean, we've always been associated with a a rural type sport, sort of in the background, and those races in the Chicago Street Court. That's in the foreground. That's in the second city. That's iconic. That's if I've never been to a NASCAR race before and I watch 30 seconds of that, I know they're racing in downtown Chicago. Absolutely. So for whoever's vision that was, wherever that genesis of thought came from, I applaud you. I wouldn't mind another one somewhere. It, it's going to be hard to top Chicago. I've, I've often said I'd love to see one like around the monuments in Washington. But then there would be a big debate about whether you turn left or right. So that's probably not happening. But <laughs> that was good. I, I, thank you. But I, I, I think there's room for more of this. I really think we could have one or two of these a year. And Alexis, you, you hit it perfectly. Let's go where the people are. Right. You know, let's let's find these big population centers and expose this great sport to them. They're not going to drive 150 miles out in the country. Right. But they will they might walk across the street literally to see this happen. I mean, I think the whole purpose, you know, there's well, there's lots of different reasons for why you have a street race, but one of them is to be able to to learn about how to do it and be able to move it to different places, to be able to to take it to different areas. And I think that's really what NASCAR's probably end game is is okay great yes it's been it's been awesome in Chicago but let's see where else we can do this and the lessons we learned here let's implement them in Washington DC or downtown LA or wherever it is that that they decide they want to go and Brad Gilly the other thing that we'll do is i don't know if we will ever build another speedway yeah i, I would I agree don't know. with you there Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know there's curiosity as to whether or not we're going to rebuild Auto Club Speedway in California. It's not happening. Uh, but you don't have to, and, and that's the great yeah. thing, and that's what's been proven. And here's the funny thing. These racetracks were built a little bit out of town because of the noise and all of that stuff. You didn't want someone coming in and saying, hey, they built this track, and you guys need to be quiet after 8 o'clock at night and so on and so forth. And now we go poof right smack dab into the middle of a city. Uh, but it turned out to be awesome. And, and here's the other thing, too, that I really loved about the weekend. A lot of the buzz coming out of there, and this is from people in the city of Chicago, not NASCAR fans, but Chicago people saying, you know, 
We thought this was going to be a much bigger, you know, impedance on our day-to-day, and it really wasn't. Turns out this thing is pretty cool. Wow, what a great thing for the city. And I think the city also looked good as a result of NASCAR being there. And city shut down for all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Do you think when they have the Thanksgiving Day parade in New York, they don't close a few streets for a couple of days? So they're, they're used to this. Every big street festival, every concert, every Lollapalooza, Things shut down. They're used to that. Mm-hmm. So I applaud it. Don't give up. The rain was a hamper, but let's let's try this again and maybe scout out another town or two.